Do you want to use continuous wave or CW mode on your Zygu G90? For most hams, trying to figure out CW mode can be difficult, especially for beginners. It can be very difficult to understand where the keyer speed, ratio, audio modes, and pedal setup are on the radio. And even more troubling can be trying to figure out how to work them properly. So today we're gonna to walk you through adequately using your Zygu G90 radio for CW mode or constant wave mode so that you can use Morse code. Let's get started. All right, so today we're gonna to go ahead and demonstrate how to get the Zygu G90 set up for CW or constant wave mode. What I mean by constant wave mode or Morse code is basically when you push the key down, it's transmitting. When you let up on the key, it's not transmitting. That's what's meant by CW or constant wave. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna show you where to go ahead and plug the key into your new uh, Zygu G90. This is the key slot here, a little green slot that says key. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in our straight key. There are two different types of keys. I don't have a paddle key with me here today, but I brought my uh, straight key from my home shack here. Um, these are configured differently. On the straight key, when you do your Morse code, basically, uh, you're gonna hear exactly what you're pushing, uh, the dahs and dits, just as you push, versus a paddle key. One side of it's gonna be the da, and the other side the dit. So both of these keys are configured slightly differently in the radio's menu. So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and configure this radio today for a straight key, but I'm also gonna show you what you would do if you were to configure this radio uh, for a paddle key as well. I'm gonna power this up. Let's go over to the 40 meter band just for good measure. That, that's where a lot of CW is. Uh, we're actually going to be transmitting a signal here during the demonstration. Um, we're not actually going for an audience. We're just basically doing a tune up on it here, but we'll go ahead and I'll punch in an identification on here anyway when I do this here uh, as per the rules. So what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna put this in CW mode I'm gonna put this down to the CW portion of the band, which is down below 7.1. 7.097 will work, okay. So we're down in the CW portion of the band. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna configure uh, this radio to use a strike key here first, and then I'll show you how to use how to configure this radio for a CW paddle here as well. Okay, so for straight key, we're gonna go ahead and push the key button here. And we'll hold it. Okay. So we see speed here is one of the options. And we can adjust our words per minute based upon our send and receive, what we believe we're gonna be sending and receiving the closest to, so words per minute. I'm gonna hit key again. Okay, so right now we have this set up for a manual key. And manual key is the straight key, which we have this set up here for now. We can select manual key, can select an auto key, -er, auto left, auto right, uh, which are our paddle key modes. So the auto left and auto right are different types of keys that we can connect, but we wanna go ahead and select the kind of key that we're using. So we're using a manual key or a straight key. If you select the wrong kind of key, uh, note on a pedal keyer, there are two different keys, one on each side. One is for dash and one is for dot. You get the radio confused. If you push this, you're always either gonna get a dash or a dot, but you're not gonna get what you actually punch in. Some manual key setting is um, basically you're going to get exactly what you punch into this key is what you're gonna get. Some manual key for a straight key. For a pedal key, auto left or auto right, whatever your preference is. Uh, so that's gonna be the difference in uh, configuring the key. Uh, now let's go ahead and demo the key. Okay, we are in CW mode. We've been seeing this, we don't see any spikes here. We're pretty sure that the frequency is not in use. 
Okay, so as I said before, this is configured so when I push this key down, it transmits. When I release, it stops transmitting. And that's just a power spike. So here we go. Okay, do a CW. All right, and we'll do the call sign. And there we are, CQ, KB0, TTL. And that's how to configure your uh, CW key, that is your straight key uh, for your radio, or the difference between how you would uh, configure a straight key and a CW paddle for your radio. And that's a close look at how to operate the Zygu SDR HF G90 radio's CW function. So if you're looking for an HF radio that allows for SSB, AM, FM, and CW mode, look no further than the Zygu G90. Do you have more questions about the Zygu G90 CW mode or Morse code that we didn't cover here today? Let us know down below in the comments. To keep up to date about new things about amateur radio, please click the notification bell. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sebastian, KB0TTL with BridgeCom Systems 73.